Hi, my name is Dr. Jason Lee, clinical immunologist, allergist, practicing in Toronto, Ontario. Today we're going to be talking about grass allergies on grassallergies.com. However, before we begin, we really need to define what an allergy is. So, what is an allergy? Well, about one in five of us have allergies of some kind, and about half of us have grass allergies. An allergy is by definition a hypersensitivity reaction type 1. What does this mean? Well, we need to understand a little bit about the immune system. Your body is exposed to all sorts of things from both within you and outside of you. We call these innate and foreign antigens. Now, an antigen is not necessarily something that's harmful to you. And not all things that's foreign to you is harmful. For example, when you eat food, it's not harmful to you, and as such, your body doesn't have an immune reaction to it most of the time. When your body sees an antigen as something harmful to you, it has a reaction. So most of the time, this is in the setting of an infection. If your body gets infected with a bacteria, virus, or parasite, you want your body to neutralize it and react to it. The soldiers of our bodies are the immune system cells. There are many types of immune system cells that play a role in helping your body stay healthy. A type 1 hypersensitivity reaction involves a white blood cell called mast cell. By definition, an allergy is a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. There are many types of hypersensitivity reactions, but for the purposes of this website, we do not go into the other ones. Suffice it to say, some immunologists by the name of Jalen Coombs coined the term hypersensitivity reactions and made different categories. A type 1 hypersensitivity reaction occurs when your body sees something that's benign, such as a grass pollen, and starts reacting to it like it was something that's potentially harmful to you. So, a grass pollen is seen as maybe a worm or some other parasite or invader in your body. Your body has a reaction, and in having that reaction to neutralize the grass pollen, you develop symptoms of allergies. We talked a little bit about the mast cell. The mast cell doesn't work by itself. It works with another cell called the antigen-presenting cell. You can think of the antigen-presenting cell as a guy that checks and presents to other parts of the immune system. Hey, what is this? I'm not really sure what it is. Should we react or should we not? Now, you'll notice there are two parts of the immune system, innate and adaptive. The innate immune system are really your first-line defenders, and the adaptive immune system are the fine-tuned defenders. These guys work in concert and function really well together. They do not function in isolation, but sometimes conceptually we like to think of them operating in isolation from one another. So again, just to recap, an allergy is by definition a type 1 hypersensitivity reaction. It involves a cell called the mast cell, and typically it involves IgE, which is the allergy antibody produced by your adaptive part of your immune system. We'll talk a little bit more about this in the next lecture, so don't worry. But this is a good start. I hope you feel pumped.